chapter. Right now, I'm representing Lawrence County in the Miss Missouri State Fair pageant. FFA helped me develop many skills that will help me in this pageant. Part of the pageant was a personal interview. In FFA, I had lots of practice interviewing for chapter office and many other contest events. Also, in FFA, I learned how to speak publicly, publicly which will help me in my talent later this afternoon. I'm from the South Carolina FFA chapter. I'm Paul and I'm from the Salisbury FFA chapter. And we are here with the Area 4 Officer team working in the FFA building at the State Fair. Uh, here in the FFA building, FFA members from all across Missouri get to showcase their field crop projects, their ag mechanics projects, and even their floor projects. Also here in the FFA building, chapters get to set up booths with really themes and games so that visitors can walk through the building and learn about agriculture and what we do here in the FFA. Hi, I'm Brittany from the Centralia FFA chapter, here by our display in the FFA building at the State Fair. We received a national three-star rating by participating in activities in community, chapter, and student development. We participated in events such as a canned food drive to help kids in need throughout the holidays to provide food for them, and an SAE tour where we went to different people's projects to see what they do and how they do it. I'm Courtney Spencer of the Aurora FFA chapter, and I'm here by our Wall of Fame in the FFA. Our livestock team um, earned a chance to display some of our awards at the State Fair by placing first in the state of Missouri and continuing on to national convention and we placed fourth overall. This fourth place finish allowed us to travel to Europe this summer and explore the agriculture of Europe, including Scotland, Ireland, and England. While over there, we got to tour various farms and just learn about how agriculture works over there. And I am from the Carrollton FFA chapter, and my project is Quinn it's a way to make a green, energy efficient, perfectly good food. I'm Jordan Baxter, and I'm sitting on the way from the history of Carlton ACC. We determined which way we attracted us to the Our hypothesis was that the live bait, or the live minnows, would attract the most problems. Our results were that the live bait we attracted, attracted most of us. My name is Christian Sun. I'm from the Carrollton Area Career Center at the Chapter. Uh, I did a project on horse slaughtering because I would like to know how people feel about it. Because there is a plant being dead in Mount Monroe. And I would like to know if it's a good idea to open it and help feel okay with it. I learned that most people didn't agree with the idea of it being in Missouri. So. Hi, my name is Sarah Abbott and I'm from the Tuscumbia FFA chapter. And my agri-science project is titled Fighting Green with Green, investigating the potential of phytochemicals on inhibiting mold growth in grain storage bins. What I did was test two essential oils and two organic acids on preventing mold growth in grain storage bins on poultry. It tests the effects that ethylene gas has on flowers. Ethylene gas is a gas produced by apples. Um, when they deteriorate, the ethylene gas kills the flowers. So my hypothesis was that they would die and be around and molten. But my conclusion was that nothing really changed except for the um, when you touch the flowers, it was a little softer. And if I had to do it again, I would change the temperature and the type of flower. 